Alrighty folks, um, I got the other little kit put away for now, but uh, basically what's going to happen, uh, this video is going to be on the TRC450 gate. Uh, since the last video I had to order in a couple parts for the 458 for the output section uh, to replace the, uh, the two SD1306 and 1307 and uh, the replacements for both of them is the NTE-235 and NTE-236 and at the local electronic center here in town both of these parts together tax in was 3450 tax in so of course it's been paid obviously so we're going to replace the two transistors that are in the uh, the TRC-458 the fake Chinese ones and we're going to install these NTE-235 uh, transistors they work very well actually I've used these in the past and they work fine better than the uh, way better than the Chinese virants <laughs> which are complete junk so this video is going to be on the TRC-458 we're going to see if we can get some life back into that radio so, without further ado, let's get around the bench. So, <clears throat> here we go. This is your TRC-458. Uh, at the NTE-235 and 236. So we're going to get the cover taken off the radio here. And we're going to get the outputs replaced. And hopefully, we'll get some, uh, get some life at this 458 and get her singing again. Um, I'm going to look. You shall sing again, as I say. Anyways, let's pop the cover off and uh, see what happens. Right, so I'm going to get these two transistors unscrewed here. So I get my little precision screwdriver. I should paint these gold for a laugh. Golden screwdrivers. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, get these unscrewed, shall we? Hurt my big fat hands, but uh, it is what it is. And it's also been said about uh, using mica capacitors or uh, insulators rather that uh, they don't dissipate the heat as well as the mica insulators actually you got one insulator here completely fell apart as you can see completely broke apart so that'll have to be replaced they're a bit separated here I'll change out the mica insulators or the ceramic insulators. Jeez, I'll take a look here. broken not good so these are the ceramic insulators they're not good for insulating or uh, delivering heat from the transistor to the heat sink so I'll be changing these out to mica I already have a bunch of extra uh, insulating materials I salvage a lot of stuff, so I've got a lot of different insulating materials and whatever. So that's not going to be a problem. So, anyways, let's uh, see if we get this piece here out. It's hiding right here. There we go. 
pop up at it. There we go. There you do. Center piece of a round insulating material. Ceramic. So now we're going to get the radio flipped over here and we're going to get these two pieces of junk transistors removed. Okay. So, we got Tab Eater whining in the background. He's doing a little whining today. I don't know why. Move this diode out of the way. Maybe. Come on. Move this diode. Move this resistor. Uh, yeah, shouldn't have moved that capacitor. Two, three, four. Shorts. There we go. This driver removed. Last solder, I should say. Let's get the final. That pin. Get that pin out of the way. Forget where he's supposed to be. All right, flip it around. Pull, pull those two little buggers out of there now. Get the driver out. And as you can see, maybe that's the old driver to fake NEC. C1307. Now we're going to screw in the uh, NTE235 and the NTE236. We're going to replace two of those junk transistors. Send this junk back to Mr. Byron. So we can see, there's the, the junk parts, and we're going to replace with the, the new stuff, way better stuff. First piece that Mike has put in, <coughs> I'm going to put the new insulating material in the radio. Piece insulating there is a little bit small. Yeah. A little bit. 
Anyways, let's see if we can get this to go in there. The uh, 13 or uh, 2SC 235. Then I'm going to put in the 2SC 13 or uh, NTE 236. Yeah, I'm going to tongue tie here today. Can't even speak. The mica capacitor, or the mica insulator, and uh, plastic insulator, the round one there. That's what uh, should be put in these radios, because the old ceramic material just don't dissipate the heat properly. So I highly, <coughs> highly recommend that you replace the old ceramic junk with the uh, with the other ones. Now I just put that uh, driver in and forgot to put the uh, temperature sense uh, LED on. <laughs> so I gotta take him off again. Oh well. Sucks, but you know, gotta be done. Gotta do it right. Let me tell you. Shorts 
in as I just took it out. Continuity, wonderful thing. And she's good. She is good. Yeah, oh, solder back. Solder in the uh, legs of the transistor now. Solder in down. Off the excess, get an excess there. Yeah. Solder in the final. This pin goes this way. This pin goes this way. This pin, look that resistor out of the way. Again, and he goes this way. There we go. Solder them in. Off the excess. Again, you don't want all that on there. Right. And solder the resistor back in. Solder the resistor. We have the finals and driver has now been replaced. Alright. Check for shorts again. And we're good. Let's have a closer look here, shall we? So, right here we have the two, well it was the 2SC1306, right now it's the NTE235, as you can see, which is the equivalent replacement to the 2SC1306, and then we got the NTE236, which is the equivalent replacement for the 2SC1307. So, to a, or NTE-235, NTE-236. So, radio should be much happier with that in it. Now these other 
Sanders is back here. I still don't know how these are going to work out. Because chances are these are just as fake as, <laughs> as the two vinyls, but uh, we'll see. But uh, as the old saying goes, cheaper ain't always better. Okay, this is soldering for the, that's for the uh, driver. NTE-235 and NTE-236 so I guess next step now is uh, power her up try her on the watt meter and see if she does more than uh, milliwatts with the new transistors so microphone in hand channel 23 AM 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 nothing Well now <laughs> And we have no modulation at all One, two, three. One, two. You have nothing. Well. Now we're into these guys. Let's hope I have a couple of, uh, a couple of these. Two SB two thirty fives, I think they are. Let's hope I've got some uh, extras. <laughs> this looks like these were fake as well, and they're also not, especially this one. I'm not allowing the power to be generated. Well. <sighs> Here we go again. Got the funnels replaced. Now I gotta come up with some two SB 235s for these. Anyway, you bet it. Well, <laughs> we have one ST 235 back here that is doing no switching at all. This one is switching in, in on transmit. This one down here is. 13 volts on the uh, center pin. The other two are not switching at all. They are what is not what we're talking about. The driver and final are not being switched any voltage. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, this 458 is. I'm gonna have to dig deeper because uh, it appears that the transmit side of this radio. The transmitter is not getting any voltage to switch properly. This could be because of a bad relay. It's most definitely possibly caused by the two SD two thirty fives. But we'll have to see. But uh, I have two new uh, two SD thirty fives here, and uh, a few uh, three other older ones. Not sure if they're any good or not, but I got three of those plus two new ones. So between those five, I'm sure we'll get lucky. <laughs> Hopefully. I'll put, uh, just where this one's harder to get at, I'll uh, put one of them here. Put one of the new ones here. I'll put the other new one here, and one of the other three will go here. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, and see how that goes. But anyways, I guess this will be uh, part uh, two of the uh, TRC-458. Uh, repair and uh, the next the next uh, will be we'll replace these two SD 235s and uh, see what happens right now the driver and the final over here are not working because we are not getting any voltage gotta love that anyways see you next
video. Rana 63, out.